Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Evermore SMP. Today we are actually end rating. I didn't expect to be end rating this soon. If you watched the second episode, I talked about end rating a little bit and how we were almost ready, but I wasn't quite ready to go. But surprise, surprise, here we are. Because there was a server event that happened like the day after I did this, where we did some ocean monument rating and Woodland Mansion exploring and i didn't want to hold the group back without an elytra so i just went ahead and got one and i forgot how much i dislike end rating without an elytra when i do have an elytra it's one of my favorite things to do and i think it's a lot of fun to just fly from city to city and take the goodies and leave but it was so much difficult when you have to bridge and stuff because that is scary. And I was lucky at first because there were bridges, but that obviously meant the end cities had been raiding. So I had to go quite far and I was a bit scared, but I ended up finding one. And the first one I found had an elytra, which was great. And super close by to that city was another one that had another elytra. So I was also able to get a backup. So I was in really good shape. And because I forgot rockets, I just left after that one. And then I was ready for the server event. It was live streamed, but I did not record any of it. So if you are interested in the server event, there is a VOD that Meg has on her channel. I'll put a link in the description if you are interested in that. Otherwise, let's continue with the rest of the video. Finding those woodland mansions and those ocean monuments was a lot of fun, so it was definitely worth it to go and get this elytra early. And we actually got a little bit of a gift for going. Lilith gave us these rockets, and I've been waiting to take them until I can record a clip. So we just got a lot, and I'm going to put them in my ender chest. I, I had went and got a bunch of rockets for everyone. Not a bunch, a bunch, because... I don't, didn't have that much gunpowder, but I had enough. I had enough. And so it worked out well because I was able to give rockets to other people when they ran out. We actually got a lot of go goodies. So you see we have an, is it that an evoker? I think that's what they're called, an evoker. And then, where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. Four totems of undying four of them it was a lot of fun it was like the first like server thing i've done kind of with almost everyone almost everyone was there and we have a lot to do today i ended the last episode saying i finally wanted to sort this out all of this these farms the cows the horses because this was all temporary and i don't like having it out here in my front yard and so i want to start by clearing out an area to put a barn and I have it will have two stables for our two horses there well I guess one's a donkey but you know what I meant and then around it we can put our farms and stuff and I'm thinking we put it right over here I'm unsure about that I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clear this a lot of this area of its trees which is kind of sad but it will help me get a feel for the terrain a lot more than I'm able to now with all these trees. And we can always replant or make our own prettier custom trees later like we did over there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna clear out kind of this chunk because I know I want it around here because I wanna put some special stuff later around those lakes because those deserve prettier stuff. But yeah, let's, let's get clearing.
that is enough time lapse for now. I'm going to take my horse and I'm going to show you everything that we just did. It was a lot. That was a long time lapse. Come on, go away. Thank you. First, we have the state. Oh, baby zombie. Baby zombie. And there's a skeleton in here. Can you tell I haven't spawn proofed? <laughs> Can you tell? Okay, anyway, this is going to be both our stable and kind of our my storage. Another skeleton. There's so many around here. There's so many. Where was that spider? Go away. Oh gosh, I can't even hit. Okay, there we go. This is going to be both my stable and also my storage for my boat stuff. This is editing, Danny. I don't know why I said boat. I meant farm stuff. And I realize I'm going to need a lead for you because you can technically just walk out. So clearly you're trying to right now, just going the wrong way. I'm going to go grab a lead for our friend there. So I don't want to put gates up on both sides. I know it makes sense, but I don't want to have gates or close this area off because I like how open it is. So you're just going to stay on a lead for the, for now. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a bunch of barrels in here. And then here we actually have a hidden automatic composter just tucked away. So I can get my bone meal in here. And then we got some more storage elsewhere. Not any of it's labeled except for my hay bales here. And I believe we have some more storage up here. No, just, just hay bales and a crafting table. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these ladders. There's one inside and one outside. Because it kind of looks like one of those drop down ladders. That you could pull up and pull down. Obviously, we can't do that with Minecraft, but I mean, this is close enough. Close enough, and it doesn't take up much room because we use the trapdoors instead of a full block. So I'm happy with that. And then we did this whole area over here, and there was no time lapse for this little bit, but I did make a diagonal bridge here. It's okay. I love the like campfire bridge design i think it's simple and i think it looks nice but i realized that it like falls apart when you do it on a diagonal because you can't put the signs on the trap doors look funky so if i'm honest i'm probably going to make a new bridge design and next episode these might be completely different bridges because i i want them to be consistent and i don't like how that looks on the diagonal but let's look at what we did. So here's where I plan on putting my cows. They're not here yet, but they will have some hay bales and some water in this little shelter piece here. And there's also a path going through for us to get to the rest of the area. We've got custom trees around the area. We have three big ones and then we have two tiny ones right here. So if custom trees are hard for you, maybe try this style where it's just a fence post, a couple blocks up and then leaves that honestly just mimic the default like the usual minecraft tree but are just varied a little bit that might be a good way to get started if you want to get into custom trees and then we've got i just harvested this recently i wish it was grown this area looks so much prettier when this stuff is fully grown but i wanted bone meal for the pumpkins so i harvested this and just put it all through the composter but we've got two wheat fields we got one right there one right there one potato and one carrot and then we have two flower fields and a pumpkin patch over here that's pretty big, but I think it looks nice. And the reason why there are these flower fields is because they add some variety in terms of a pop of color, but they're also two blocks tall. So we don't really have a single plant in Minecraft besides sugarcane that's more than one block tall. And so having these flowers here, not only do they look nice because they're flowers, but they add some different height into the area instead of everything being one block tall for flower for our plants and crops and so that that's why i did that and i'm taking a little bit of a break from building because we are going to meet up with meg and we're going to play an archery mini game and then when we come back i'm gonna maybe take care of these guys later i know meg has villagers at her base i don't want to start a raid i may have already done that once at her base i'm not doing it again <laughs> <laughs> I actually was gonna ask, are you recording I yet? I am recording. I just don't know how to start clips. So it's just, we're just gonna start. This is the beginning. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. That is all. We're well, I haven't gotten a chance to play game. this with anyone, so 
So, okay, go open this chest and grab any bow. Probably the damaged ones is good. Yeah. And you can pick... Oh, I forget the team names. What do they say? We got Reggie. Reggie's red and, Barney's and Barry's blue. blue. Or Barney's blue, you're right. Barney's yeah. blue. I'm going to go blue. <laughs> okay, we won't be able to see each other while we play. And, oh, we have to push the bell to start. Okay, do you want to press it or should I? Um, I'll press it. Give you a okay. fair advantage. You can turn around and get yourself prepared. Oh, I guess I should say this first level is actually the most difficult. Oh. Like, you have to get practically a perfect bullseye for it to activate. Oh, dang. I was wondering why they weren't turning. Come on, don't be shy. Turn on. <laughs> one of them, I think the one to your left, like, higher up. The second one from the left, I think. That's the most difficult one, I think. I used to play a lot of turf wars, so <laughs> I got a lot of practice on the bow. And now I can't hit anything. I've just shot at this target like 10 times and I can't hit it. <laughs> I think it's kind of an issue though that if you get stuck on it for a long time, there's no easy way to get off unless you break through the wall. <laughs> I'm really failing at this one over on the on the right. Maybe I made it too maybe I made it too difficult. I don't know. <laughs> there's so many arrows on this target. It's also hard because the arrows always like shift when you when you click so you could be shooting in the same spot and they'd land in different spots <laughs> it's so many oh i need to redo the last level oh my god the last level is kind of ugly oh did you fall no i have still one more i just got the one i was oh. struggling on oh don't worry i'm uh -huh. on the second level they do get a little bit easier to hit as you go down like the area that you have to hit it's a little bit bigger each time so that's why the first level is the hardest. I win. I, I'll get there eventually. I'm gonna go watch you. And then you can be like, wow, she's got bad aim. <laughs> All those arrows. Oh, I got it. Yeah, there's so many. You should see the one on the first level on the right. Ooh. I have made it to the last one. I really do want to redo these caves sometime, though. They're kind of boring. It was before the uh, deep, deep slate, slate and all that was added. Yeah. Yeah, they get a little bit easier. Ooh. I did it. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's some nice note blocks. I'm surprised you didn't hear it, as you're supposed to be able to hear it from up there, but I don't think you heard it when I, I landed on it. I did hear it, just not very loudly, and I was mm -hmm. focusing on hitting the targets <laughs> I was missing. <laughs> Oh, and let me show you. Yeah. Let me get to the top. Okay, let's let's go back in here before any creepers come blow us up. Okay, when we're done, we guess we have to put the bows away. And we push these buttons to reset it. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'll practice and then I'll <laughs> challenge you to <laughs> a rematch. <laughs> yeah, go for it. That's the nice thing about this is you can do it one or two player. If yeah. you just wanted to practice archery. I will say I've practiced with lower sensitivity. It is a lot easier that way. And I want a rematch. Meg, when you're watching this, I want a rematch. Give me one. This area is absolutely gorgeous with the shaders on, so I've done some more work. We now officially have like every single crop in the game that's like placed on soil. And so specifically what was added, I don't think the pumpkin farm was in the last clip. The beetroot farm wasn't. This wheat farm is new along with the sunflower field and our melon farm over here. And I also put a little bit of a well here just because I felt like it needed a little something more. Things were starting to get a little bit repetitive. So this spices it up a little bit and it also gives us a water source that is closer. So look at this area. That's big. I'm really happy to have this. And there were some other small details that I do want to point out. I do have bees around every single larger tree. I do have a beehive. They will pollinate the crops and they're actually going to grow faster. It's a mechanic I haven't really used before. And with how big these farms are, it probably won't be super helpful. But it is nice to just have bees flying around all over the place so we have four of them out and I might build another tree over here to use this last one at another point but I want to talk about what I want to do for our next episode of the Evermore SMP so you kind of know what to expect 
because there's a, there's a deep slate block here. I want to expand our base because storage is getting a little bit thin. Specifically, this storage. If we look like here, like this is almost full and so is this. We almost have a chest worth of cobble deep slate and then same with this kind of, not as much, not as much. But we have a decent amount and I want to fix that by making, I want to make an overhang here that is very open so I can land on it and then we're going to have another tower and another structure over here that is purely meant for storage. It'll kind of be like, it won't be humongous and it won't be automatic, but it will be larger than what we have set up now and hopefully with that bridge it will be easy to access because I am already sick of the staircase here. I, I don't want to deal with it. So yeah, that's going to be next. So we're going to be fulfilling we're going to be filling this area some more because this area looks so lived in and so detailed and this area right now is just really bleh. And so I want to fix that. And so thank you for joining me for today's episode. We did a lot of decorating and I hope you think it's pretty. I know I do. And I hope that I will see you next time for another video. And until then, I hope you have a good one.